Hey guys and welcome back to another Eye Contrast video. Today I thought I might talk about how to corner better in Gran Turismo Sport and better techniques to getting around corners than most people that I see on online lobbies. This has become really apparent to me that people don't actually know how to take the racing line as I've just been racing online and people aren't really taking the most effective way around the track. And as you can see in this footage, I started from like 7th and I'm already going to make my way up to 5th after the first corner. So my first tip in taking corners better is actually turning off traction control. It may be a bit difficult at first, especially with more higher powered cars, but definitely turn it off if you can. Maybe you might be a bit more consistent with the uh, traction control on 1 or 2, so leave it on that if you absolutely need to, but know that you're not going to be performing as fast through the corners. If you're having trouble braking, leave the ABS on weak at least if you need it, or take it off if you don't need it at all, it's quite simple. It's all about finding your balance between consistency and speed. Obviously the more assists you have on, the slower you're going to be, but the more consistent you will be probably because you won't make as many mistakes. Recently I've been keeping ABS on weak and I find that that's the most effective for me, but it could be totally different for you, so make sure you experiment with that and find out what the best settings for you are. But for lower power road cars, you absolutely do not want to be running traction and control at all as it will affect you greatly in a negative way compared to the faster cars. So now for the corners, if you absolutely do not know the circuit, you probably want to use these cone markers that I've been using, which are with the witch's hats on the side of the road. They will tell you where the ideal braking point and the turning point for all the cars is, like just in general, so be more specific when you're driving yourself. You don't want to be braking exactly at the witch's hats or turning in exactly at the witch's hats. If you find a better racing line, definitely use that. Just experiment while you're in qualifying or something like that, making sure you actually go off the racing line just to try and see if you can find more speed and then therefore you'll find a better racing line as well. Now for quarters you absolutely want to take a wide entry and then hit the apex later on in the corner if it's a long one. Right here as you can see I take my turning point a lot later than the blue car in front of me and then I hit the apex a lot later on as well. Right here I'm only just hitting the apex now while that blue car is drifting out wide. Once you actually hit the apex, you want to let the car flow out as wide as possible, maintaining the car kind of sort of in a straight line as much as possible. And then that way, with the least amount of steering lock as possible, you can then have a faster exit onto a straight. And here, I actually lose the car from getting a bit of the tire on the grass, but I managed to save it and I still keep a relative distance behind that blue car as he makes a mistake too. But I get a penalty for saving the car, so I think that's pretty stupid from Gran Turismo's behalf but anyways we're back to where we started behind this blue car again but for another time we're going to take a wide entry before hitting the apex once again going really wide and then turning in at that witch's hat as it's recommended on the cone marker and as you can see that blue car has hit the apex way too early and he's going to drift wide when it comes to the second part of the corner and that allows me to go up the inside and then I'm allowed to dominate the next corner and he has to pull in behind me. So the whole idea really is to keep the car as straight as possible when coming out of the corner. That might make you have to take the corner going into it a little bit slower, but as long as you get a faster exit than the cars around you, you'll have a better run on the straights and get a better exit. So this corner right here is a bit of an interesting one. It's a double apex, even though it's one corner. So I initially hit the apex as soon as possible before drifting out wide, and then hit the apex a second time to make the car nice and straight coming out of the corner. And that allows me to get a nice run on this black car. And then I go up the inside of this chicane, and then that allows me to get first position off him. So I'll talk you through a lap around qualifying here. Hopefully it gives you a better understanding of how to take corners better. So right now, coming into my first braking zone, I just jab the brakes before turning in. I do not hit the apex initially, and then I let the car run wide, let it flow out, and then I hit the apex as I'm coming back onto this straight, and then that way I get a better exit out of that corner. And now I'm going to hug the inside of these corners as much as possible to keep the car as straight as possible, because in lower powered cars, the more you have steering locked on, the more the tires slide and go against the road. So coming down the hill now, we're gonna try and get as wide as possible before we start to turn in. And now we are going to hit the apex initially because it's a double apex, let the car drift out wide. And now we're going to come back and hit the apex once again, keeping the car nice and straight. Let the car flow out after you hit the apex as wide as possible. Maintain that speed so the car doesn't slide. And then that way we get a good exit. Now we're going to brake pretty late 
downshift once and now we're going to downshift once again once I've actually hit the apex. And the reason for that is if you downshift too many times, you'll wash a lot of speed off and it can also cause the car to slide out a lot. So if you don't need to downshift, do not downshift. It'll allow you to lose a lot more time through a corner if you downshift more than what is actually needed. So here's another interesting corner. I hit the apex as late as I can coming out of the corner rather than going into the corner and that allows me to get the car straighter and get on the power earlier as I'm coming out of the corner. So rather than hitting the apex as soon as you see it where the arrow shows, do not hit it there and wait until you're coming out of the corner. You want to try and let the car flow out wide before hitting the apex as well. So turning in at the cone marker, making it as late as possible before turning the car in. That way we get it nice and straight for this exit. So the ideal place to hit that apex is where that arrow is pointing and then hopefully you can get a better flow coming out of that corner. So much like a go-kart, turning in the tires almost acts as if it's a brake. So you want to keep your tires as straight as possible when coming out of the corners. And then that way you actually pick up a lot more speed than the people that are still locked on their steering wheel coming out of the corner. So I'm sure everyone has said this before, but slow in and fast out is the best way to go around a circuit. And hopefully this has helped you out at least a little bit. As you can see, once again, turning in nice and late, and then that way I get onto the power as early as possible before the people that are fully locked in their steering that are hugging the absolute inside of the corner. And then that way you get a better flow outside and then better straight line speed coming out of the corner. So that's going to wrap up this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like if you feel it deserves it. Subscribe for more and new content, and I'll see you all in a brand new one.